I stumbled into the kitchen. Pour myself a cup of ambition. Yawn and stretch and try to come to life. Jump in the shower and the blood starts pumping. Out on the streets, the traffic starts jumping for folks like me on the job from nine to five. Working nine to five. What a way to make a living clearly. Getting by. It's all taken and no giving. They just use your mind and they never give you credit. It's enough to drive you crazy if you let it. Mom, where are my clean socks? In the dirty clothes hamper. Why would my clean socks be with the dirty clothes? Because your clean socks are dirty. Now come on, we're gonna uh. run late. My two lives have got me hopping. Dawn till midnight, there's no stopping. Don't know which I'm mothering the most. Pack his lunch and kiss my son and grab my purse and I keep running. Got so much on my plate, I could choke. Working nine to five for service and devotion. You would think that I would deserve a fat promotion. Want to move ahead, but the boss won't seem to let me. I swear sometimes that man is out to get me. Watch him shatter, you just step on the boss man's ladder, but you got dreams that he'll never take away. You're in the same boat as a lot of your friends, waiting for the day your ship will come in. The tide's, tide's gonna, gonna turn, turn and it's all gonna roll your, your way. way. Nine, Nine to five. Nine to five. Wish it was as simple as it sounds. I swear to you, I'm gonna do it. Grit my teeth and I'll get through it. It's hard to see the upside when you're down. Working nine to five became necessary when my husband Dick left me for his secretary. Never worked before. Somehow I've got to make it till I learn the ropes. I get Gosh, what is that? New girl. First day, she's in your section. My section? Why are they always in my section? Just lucky, I guess. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna need a locker for that hat. <laughs> oh, brother. Hi, I'm Violet Newstead. I'll be training you here at Consolidated. Uh, Judy Burnley, it's nice to meet you. <laughs> this is quite a big day for me. Yeah, big day, big hat. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I left an hour early so I could make sure to be here on time, but parking was impossible. 
Fun fact, <laughs> parking meters were invented in Oklahoma City in 1935. I'm sorry, I share trivia when I get nervous. That's great. Well, so all this will be yours. Thrilling, isn't it? So let's start off by taking a typing test, okay? I'll dictate you type, okay? Right over here. All right. All right, from Franklin Hart, president of Consolidated Industries, to the employees. When planning for retirement, why diversify and why? Ugh. Okay, you know, it works a lot better when you put paper in the typewriter. Oh, yeah. Oops. <laughs> so uh, where did you say you last worked? Uh, I've never really had a job in an office. No kidding. You're not going to tell them, are you? Well, I sort of have to. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. I just didn't know where on my resume to write that I have no skills because I've spent my entire adult life taking care of a husband who just left me for a 19-year-old named Mindy <laughs> with an I. <laughs> oh. An I. <laughs> okay, okay, all right. Just stop crying, all right? Um, so you have absolutely no office skills whatsoever? None. Is this where you call security? <laughs> no, no, this is where I say I love a challenge and welcome to Consolidated. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Thank you, thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> I just hope I can do the job. Oh, well, relax. I've been at Consolidated for 15 years. You'll get it. Besides, you have the very best training you. Really? Yes. Who? Me. Oh. You gotta know what to do. You gotta do it in a hurry. Gotta hustle, gotta bustle, gotta scoot, you gotta scurry. Cause we got no time to fool around, around here. Around here. You gotta get it right on the first try, honey. Cause each mistake means they're losing lots of money. And we got no time to waste a dime around here. Come here. Here's your adding machine and the carbon paper. There's the intercom, there's the phone, and there's the stapler. Got your shredder, got your letters, got to type, you got to write. Is that clear? Is that clear? You got your three-hole punch, and at noon, take lunch. Keep it running, keep it coming, got to pump, you got to hump. Because we got no time to fool around around here. Follow me. You gotta know what to do, you gotta do it in a hurry. Gotta hustle, gotta bustle, gotta scoot, you gotta scurry. Cause we got no time to fool around, around here. Around here. Punching when you enter. Punch out when you leave. Do exactly as you're told. No excuses, please. No, we don't play or make mistakes around. Oh, Violet. Oh, Violet. <laughs> Judy, this is Roz Keith, Mr. Hart's administrative assistant. It's Judy's first day. Welcome to our happy little family. Violet, I've been meaning to talk to you about Mr. Hart's rules regarding office decor. No personal items on the desk. We mustn't look cluttered and sloppy. An office that looks efficient is efficient. As Mr. Hart always says, what a man. What a man. <clears throat> I've typed up a memo. Oh. You can post it on the bulletin board. Thanks, Roz. I know just where to stick it. <laughs> oh, dear old Roz is Mr. Hart's administrative eyes, ears, nose, and throat. If you ever want to gossip in the ladies' room, check under the stall for feet first. <laughs> you got to know who to trust. Better know it in a hurry. No time for such a thing as your personal worries. Got to grow. You got to show. Got to keep it in tow around here. Let's recap. Around here. Know who to trust and know it in a hurry. Around here. No time for any personal worries. Around here. No laughing, no jokes, and mind the dress code. Is that clear? Around here. Chats, no snaps, no clutter on the desk. Around here. No breaks or personal effects. It's all about the job and getting it done around here. All about the job and getting it done. You gotta know what to do. You gotta do it in a hurry. Gotta hustle, gotta bustle, gotta scoot, you gotta scurry. Cause we got no time to fool around, around here. Around here. Do what you gotta do. No time to dilly dally. No time to run the rules. Cause there's no one to keep the tally. And we got no time to fool around, around here. Now, 
This entire section is divided into three zones, each with its own supervisor. Hey, Margaret. Hey. <laughs> So as senior supervisor, the other two supervisors report to me, and I report directly to Mr. Hart. Oh, what's he like? Well, he was just made president. I have never seen anybody leapfrog to the top so fast in my entire life, and I have the bad back to prove it. <laughs> um, oh, shoot, I almost forgot. I was supposed to get a present for Mrs. Hart. Um, oh. How attached are you to that scarf? Oh, well, it was a present for my husband, but now that we're separated, I oh, guess I don't Oh, well, really way too many memories, right? Great, thank you. Oh, hi there, who's this here? Uh, Judy Burnley, first day. Hi. Hi. Well, I hope everyone's treating you real friendly and showing you around. If you need anything at all, you just give me a holler. I know what it's like to be the new girl in town. <laughs> we don't like her. Do what you gotta do, no time to dilly dally, no time to bend the rules to settle once you keep the time. We got no time at all to fool around, around here. <coughs> what? Judy Burnley, new employee. Now that is what I'm talking about. You're not bad looking for a gal with a little tread worn off her tires, and I mean that sincerely. Mr. Hart, I really wish you wouldn't refer to her. Oh, come to on, her. Violet. Franklin Hart Jr. knows the value of every girl who has the privilege of serving under him. Oh, now, Lord, here we go. let me tell you my philosophy of business, Julie. Yes, Judy. In a word, teamwork. Everybody pulling together. It's a shame, and I've always said this, that you girls don't have the opportunity growing up playing baseball or football because that's where you learn that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. If we all work together, we can cut the balls off our competition and be sitting pretty on top of a hill. Sitting pretty on top of a hill of balls. <laughs> Lovely picture. I'm just happy to be part of the team, sir. You see, that's the attitude I'm looking for. By the way, is that the present for my wife? Uh, yes, it is. And I'd like to remind you that it is not in my job description to do any of your personal Violet, shopping. Violet, damn it. I'm trying to tell Jody here how we're Judy. all a team, and right away you're not there for the handoff. I'd expect an employee, especially one who wants to be promoted to management, to show a little cooperation and flexibility. You savvy? Oh, I savvy. Dora Lee. Now get me some coffee, will you? No sugar, just some skinny and sweet. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, should we get back to that dictation, sir? First of all, I want to apologize for my behavior yesterday. I, I got a little carried away. <laughs> Well, now I've been chased by Slifter Moon, and you and I ain't been caught yet. <laughs> Ever since I made that stupid mistake about that conference in San Francisco. <laughs> oh, Mr. Hart, you didn't make a mistake. I'll just have to be sure the next time I'm asked to work at a conference that there is a conference going on. <laughs> Here's a little something to say I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> I picked it out myself. Oh, that's very nice. Nice nothing. I am a very rich man. I've got my checkbook right here. You say the word and you can write your very own figure. Oh, well, I could do that now. I sign your name better than you do. <laughs> Let's get back to that letter. I'll get it. Sure you don't need a little help? Oh, I'm just fine. Let's get started. To all regional managers from Franklin Hart Jr. regarding attendance, any employee late more than five minutes should be docked incrementally. Oh, my sweet dear Dora Lee, you don't know what you mean to me. I just don't know what I would do without you. You're so efficient and alert. And the way you look, well, shit, that don't hurt. <laughs> now, please don't think I'm just a flirt. It's just I'm nuts about you. Here for 
you, I'm here for you. I want you so, I truly do. My body is your instrument, so on and on, on, on. please play it. Yours sincerely, no, firmly, Franklin Hart Jr. Uh, Doralee, will you get the Harper Davis file off the top shelf for me? <clears throat> It's just that you stay on my mind Every minute, all the time I've got to do it Make you mine completely I'd give you every dime I got Why, honey, you could be on top Yeah, there's no way to say this all discreetly Mr. Hardo just can't seem to find it. Keep looking, honey. You've never failed me yet. I'd like to take those double D's. Hold them oh so close to me. I could lose myself in her forever. Yeah. Will I get those legs uncrossed? Of course I will. Yeah, because I'm the boss. Pow! I will wear at any cost. I'm Clever. Oh, 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 here for you, I'm here for you. Oh, I do enjoy the view. Oh, dear, I can see why you feel shaky. The ladder of success is steep. But not if you hold on to me, or I'll hold on to you, my sweet oh. You just drive me crazy. Uh, were you saying something to me? Doralee, I can't help myself. I've just oh, got to have you. Mr. Hart, I'm a married woman. And I'm a married man. Oh, That's oh, what makes no. this so perfect. Oh. 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 You're right, these ceilings do need some touching up. <clears throat> I'll send a note to maintenance, sir. Missy, what are you doing here? You know I don't like you barging in on me at work. Oh, Frank, don't be mad. I was just dying to show you some of these brochures for cruises I picked up. Okay. How are you, Mrs. Hart? Just fine, Doralee. My, that's a lovely scarf you're wearing. Yes, Doralee, what a lovely scarf you're wearing. It was a present from your husband. <laughs> oh, Frank, how thoughtful of you. I am so glad he appreciates all you do for him. Oh, he appreciates her all right. <laughs> it was nice seeing you, Mrs. Hart. <laughs> Here's my favorite. An Italian line, four weeks of sunshine. Four weeks? Are you out of your mind? I can't take four weeks off work to go paddling around some spaghetti love boat. <laughs> Somebody needs to switch to Senka. There are shorter cruises, Frank. Just take a look at them when you have time. I'm sorry I bothered you, Frank. I will have that moment I have long anticipated. I will have my way with her. She'll wonder why she's waited. I won't flinch until I quench my thirst from her sweet cup. Those sweet cups. Yes, I get just what I want. And I want her so much. I'm here for her. I'm here for her. And I will not give. Up. <clears throat> I hate my time.
typewriter. This morning, the self-correcting tape broke. Mira, I had to go back to the Estonages and use whiteout. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. Back in the old days when you used to make a mistake, you had to retype the entire document. <laughs> Is that it, huh? Sister. No, I hear no? they're coming out with new typewriters next year with triple pitch, electronic keyboards, and wait for it, automatic right margin justification. Oh. <gasps> Accountants at 11 o'clock. Oh, Warden, the lady threw me as the hots for you. Oh, stop it. I'm a widow. Oh, just because you're not wet, ready to order doesn't mean you can't peruse the menu. Hey, hey Violet. <laughs> I think I hear my typewriter calling me. <laughs> Did you get that file I had asked for? Uh, yeah. Yeah, here it is. All signed and sealed by heart. Atta girl. Violet, you're the best. Oh. And I'm just saying that because I want you to like me. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not just saying that because I want you to like me. Joe, you're such an idiot. Change the subject, TGIF, huh? Woo! Hey, you know what I was thinking? Uh, it's time to get back to work. <laughs> How about dinner with me tomorrow night? Um, I don't know about that, Joe. How late do your parents let you stay up? Come on. Junior accountant, senior office manager. I couldn't think of a better match. Oh, it's the junior-senior thing I'm worried about. <laughs> and I want to spend the weekend with my son, single parent and all. Bring him know? along. I'm really oh. good with resentful adolescent teens who think I'm trying to put the moves on their mother. <laughs> oh, Joe, I'm old enough to be your sister. <laughs> I just think we'd really work out. Uh, oh, I don't know. Tell you what, I will think about it. Don't think about it. Just do it. <laughs> just do it. be a great slogan for something. Yeah. I'm, here. I'm sorry, sir. This is going too fast. That paper started flying everywhere. Weren't you kicked out on this thing? Um, I got it. Don't worry. I got it. Oh, come on. A friggin' moron can operate it. Hey, give her a break. It's her first day. Yeah, and it's going to be a long one. You stay after work and clean up this mess. Yes, sir. I will. Hey, Bob, I got a good one for you. What do you call a woman who's lost 95% of her intelligence? I give up. Divorced. <laughs> <laughs> Funny, right? <gasps> oh. I, I don't think I'm cut out for this. Look, you have got this, all right? But here's the deal, okay? Never let them see you cry. You know, they, they see a tear and they, they go in for the kill. So repeat after me. I will not cry. I will not cry. Okay. <laughs> we will work on that, okay? <laughs> Violet, hmm? you're so nice. What to do and where to start. Things are falling all apart. Trying hard to move ahead But keep losing ground instead Still I have to take a chance Putting fear and doubt aside Had no warning in advance Nothing left to do but to ride and I just might make it work I just might make it after all I just might rise above the hurt Though I suffered quite a fall But I have to get a grip Hold on to it like a vice Mm -hmm. Have to face the fallen chips I just might make it I just might Hey, babe Dick, what are you doing here? Oh, well, your sister told me you 
got a job and it does not look like it's exactly up your alley. Oh, it's completely up my alley. I, I own the alley. I, I'm almost finished here. Do you want to grab a bite to eat? Maybe talk? Judy, I can't. Uh, Mindy's waiting for me in the car, but um, here are the final divorce papers. Go ahead and sign them and then give them to your attorney. He'll know what to do. Oh, but I... Judy, I gotta go. Bye. What's she doing waiting in the car? Practicing for her learner's permit? Dick? I'm sorry. Can you believe it? Me, the mother of an aging child, a widow for God's sake, and I'm still his girl. Why do you let him get away with it? Well, because he makes a decision on the promotion in a few days, and until then, I am playing the game. Mom, you need to stop thinking about work all the time and start dating. <laughs> you have really got to stop trying to get me laid. It's a little weird. <laughs> you seem tense. Heart can make anyone tense. Okay. Take this doobie. Hey, hang on there, Buster. Well, it'll, it'll calm you down. No, 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 no. You know how I feel about that. Pot is dangerous. It can lead to other things. I know. Like relaxation. <laughs> Not gonna happen. All right. Let me check this thing out here. Hey, it works. Ah, come on, give me some lemon. Woo. <laughs> Love it. Exactly how long have you been waiting for that promotion? Ugh. Slip it in my purse. <laughs> I'm as nice as I know how to be to everyone in that office, and they all still treat me like the bastard at the family reunion. Forget all about them, honey. Oh, but Dwayne, that hurts my feelings. They all seem to be judging me on how I look. Well, I think you look real good. And if it weren't for the fact that they were a bunch of women, why, I'd go down there and punch them out for you. <laughs> you would, wouldn't you? Of course I would. You're my girl. No. Oh. Tomorrow, you're going to go back to that office, and you're going to show them what a great gal you are. Remember, Texans never quit. <laughs> You're the one that keeps me strong. You're the shoulder I lean on. Hard to swallow pride. When I think I've had enough. I think of you and tough enough. I know the truth inside. Cause I'm working hand to And I'm nobody's fool. I'm nobody's fool. I just try to write what's wrong. And just keep on keeping on. But I just might make it work. I just might make it after all. I just might make it. I just might make it. Though I suffered quite a while. Though I suffered. Though I suffered, I might live to see the day. I can say, hey, I'm all right. All right. I'm all right. All right. I'm all right. I can prove all the men are getting paid more, more than the women here. 
I get 12,000, but Milton gets 14,000 for doing the same job. Could you tell me your salary? I, I don't talk money, honey. Violet! Violet! Did you receive my memo on employee sharing salary information? Yes, Roz, I tore right through it. Did you receive my memo regarding superfluous memos? No. Wait! What? Judy Burnley, can you please hold? Um, Judy Burnley, this is Kate. Hello? Oh, you <laughs> hung up on them, didn't you? Sure did. <laughs> but I didn't cry. Hey, well done. Lunch. All right. <laughs> oh, hey, Violet, how about you and me grab a bite? Uh, not today, sorry. Well, hi, Judy. How about you and me grab lunch today? There is the cutest little Italian place, not a hop, skip, and a jump from here. Um, I'd really like to, Dorley, but I already... But what? Do I look like I have rabies or something? Um, no, it's just that I already have... Well, played. what did they tell you about me? Um, nothing, really. We must have said something. I'm no fool. I can see what's going on around here. Doralee, I'm new here. I'm just trying to go with the flow. Now, I've always been misunderstood because of how I look. Don't judge me by the cover, because I'm a real good book. <laughs> so read into it what you will. See me as I Just a country girl's idea of glam. <laughs> Judy, we have reservations <gasps> for two. Oh. I'm sorry. I grew up poor and ragged, just a simple country girl. I wanted to be pretty more than anything in the world. Like Barbie or the models in the Frederick's catalog From rags to wishes in my dreams I could have it all I'm just a backwoods Barbie Too much makeup, too much hair Don't be fooled by thinking that The goods are not all there Don't let these false eyelashes Cause I'm true and deep. I'm just a backwards boy real in a push up bra and heels. I might look artificial, but where it counts, I'm real. Oh, I could see where I could be misjudged upon first glance. But even backwards Barbies deserve a second chance. Oh. Dolled up and hoping for a chance to prove my worth. But even backwards, Barbies get their feelings. To Bob! Congratulations. Congratulations. Okay, knitting circle's over, ladies. Wait, Come on. Oh, you gave that promotion to Bob and right instead of me? I trained him, for God's sake. Violet, don't fly off the handle. The company feels... Oh, the company bullshit. You're the one who makes the decisions around here. Oh, just tell me why. He's got a family to support. Oh, and I don't. It's out of my hands. The clients prefer a male in that position. Oh, so it's the old boys club. Hey, I'm still the boss. I'm not just going to sit here and take this. Oh. 
Dorley, get in here. I told you to fix this chair six weeks ago. Violet, get back to work. Oh, oh, I will. But before I go, I have one more thing to say to you. Don't you ever refer to me as your girl again. I am not your girl. I am a woman. W-O-M-Y-N. I am not your sister, your mother, and oh, certainly not your mistress. What? I am your employee, and I deserve to be treated equally with a little respect and a little dignity. Now what do you mean, mistress? Oh, come off it, Dora Lee. Everybody knows that you and Mr. Hart are having an affair. An affair? Yes. Who's been saying that? Who's been saying that? He has. What? No, don't get upset. You've been telling everyone I'm sleeping with you? Oh, that explains why everyone's been treating me like some dime store floozy. They all think I'm banging the boss. Wait a minute, I can explain. And you love it, don't you? It gives you some sort of cheap thrill, like a knocking over pencils and picking up papers. Ooh, you're getting all excited. I've put up, I've put up with your grabbing and chasing me around the desk because I need this job. But this is the last straw. I've got a gun out there in my purse, and up until now, I've been forgiven and forgetting because that's how I was brought up, but I swear. You'll say one more word about me, and I'll get that gun of mine, and I'll change you from a rooster to a hen in one shot. Oh, Mr. Hart, can I get those for you? Oh, God, just leave it. Oh, uh, well, so, so sorry to bother, sir, but one of the girls committed a serious infraction. I overheard Maria Delgado trying <clears throat> to gather salary information. Get rid of her. It isn't like she hasn't been warned. I want her gone yesterday. Well, sir, technically speaking, that isn't really possible. Oh, hell, I'll just fire her myself. Uh, um, <clears throat> Mr. Hart, uh, Miss, uh, oh, if you only knew... Oh, what is wrong with this elevator? Oh, what is wrong with you? How could you think I was sleeping with that oh, worm? Well, I mean, aren't you? No, I don't even like him. So no. sorry, so I made a little mistake. Violet, Violet hard-fired Maria, you've got to do something. <laughs> well, if I got the promotion, I'd at least try, but I'm still a lowly secretary. I think I at least deserve sorry. Dorley, I am so sorry. <laughs> Not from you. Well, she thought you were sleeping with them too. We all did. Well, that makes me feel a whole lot better. Is it five o'clock already? Where's everybody going? Home to get drunk. <laughs> Atta girl. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry. Well, it ain't the sweetest apology I ever got, but it'll do. Can you believe Hart fired Maria just for discussing salary information? Can you, can you believe he told everyone I was sleeping with him? Oh, can you believe he gave that promotion to someone I trained? What a rat. What a liar. What a creep. Oh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to start smoking again. Yeah. You know, I'm sure I have a pack in here somewhere. I don't think a cigarette's gonna make me feel better. Oh, yeah? Oh. <laughs> Bet this one will. <gasps> Do you roll your own? <laughs> Is that Mary Joanna? <laughs> Keep it down. I don't have enough for the entire office, all right? <laughs> now, I'm going home to forget my troubles. Anyone coming? Oh, I'm in. <laughs> <laughs> me too. Oh. Let's just take the stairs. Yeah. Violet! Huh? Where do you think oh, you girls are going in the middle of the afternoon? Rods, get off our back. We're going for a coffee break.
love it. Yeah. Oh. Maui wowie. So hungry. Mmm. Oh. Wait. So hey, hey. I, I can't feel my lips. Mm. I can't feel oh, my lips. Oh, I oh, found it. Oh, I feel them. They're right there. <laughs> <laughs> I see them right there. My stone. Your, Your stone. stone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you guys. I just got the funniest picture in my head. And then I was picturing the picture of the picture. And then I was... I was in the picture of me picturing the, the, the picture in my head. Are these real? Are they real? As real as the hair on my head. <laughs> of everyone from the office and they were all dressed up like gangsters and they were trying to rub out heart. It was just like Fred McMurray in Double Indemnity. It was a dark and stormy night in a city that doesn't nap. But the club was hot and the girls were hotter. They had movie star faces and legs that went all the way from here to Pittsburgh. At least that's what Hart thought when he came crawling in out of the rain. And that's where he found me. Dressed to kill. Literally. Hello, big boy. Do I know you? I hardly think you would. I'm just your unknown office drone, unnoticed but quite good. God, you're sexy, I must say. Oh, I'd have noticed you. I'll bet you're quite a dancer. I've got one leg up on you. I fantasize about you and being here like this. You do? Oh, yes, I've always longed to be the last one that you kiss. Who knew? Hold you close, whisper in your ear, dance with you against my breast. Well, let's. Yes. Let's live out this fantasy. The kiss, the dance of death. Mm. Mm. Sweetheart, and dance with me. I'll show you how it goes. We'll dance real fast. I'll kick your ass for everyone that you provoked. I'll spin you round. I'll throw you down. I'll pounce upon your heart. We'll dance a bit and end like this. So let us. I don't smoke. Do you want to start? Not me. I plan on living a long time. <laughs> I don't think so. Is it because I'm a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot? Copy that. By the way, the name is Judy. Heart, get 
your buns in here and make it snappy. <laughs> well, I'm a Texas cowgirl, wears my hat and a rope, just like any ugly to Wild West rodeo. This cowgirl's gonna take revenge, I ain't to make you pay for every ugly deed and every vulgar move you make. <laughs> Thank you, that's very thoughtful. Well, go ahead, try it on, let me see it on you. Mrs. Rhodes, I really don't think... What? Turn around? Mrs. Rhodes. Oh, come on now, I want to admire the whole package if you kept my drift. <laughs> you got some nice birds on you, Frank. Please do not talk to me that way. Oh, well, I say, if you got it, fill it. Mrs. Rhodes, <laughs> I am not that kind of boy. <laughs> Get on back here and let me feel those pecs. <laughs> Woo! Yeah! Oh, let me see. Woo! Frank, you are so You are a man. You be I kind of with my lasso, I'm gonna rope you down. Ladies and gentlemen, yeah! just got him down. He's down, he's on the ground. You be I kind of She's really got him bound! Yeah! Yeah! Is it because I'm a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical bigot? Darn tootin'! He only loves. Oh. Time for you to fry! Oh. Ah! A little bit of this, a bit of something else, a secret little potion I'll conjure up myself. I'm not a vicious person, I just don't want him here. So I'll make a magic mixture and make him disappear. Lie, 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 lie to me. Got a notion for a potion, just leave it to me. Magic Kingdom, we respect each other's rights. We're not allowed to steal the magic from another's life. I'm hoping that this potion just might neutralize all the bad and evil things he seems to hold inside. <laughs> Be a good girl and get my coffee. No sugar, just some skinny and sweet. It mixes well with many things. Coffee is the best! So I'll mix him up a little batch and bring it to his desk. Come on, put off a little steam. It's good to clear the head. It really does work wonders. It's magic, like I said. Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I think you put something in here. <laughs> I think you poisoned my coffee. <laughs> Is it because I'm a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical, bigot? Uh huh. <laughs> Time for you to die, 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 die. <laughs> <laughs>
It is not enough that I have to go shopping for this office. Half and half, skinny and sweet, rat poison, ant poison. I have to fetch his coffee too. I swear, one of these days, he's just gonna push me too far, and then, oh, I am really gonna let him have it. You know what Roz accused me of inner office fraternizing this morning? What? With who? Who do you think? With you. Who do that petty dictator and his flunky think they are anyway? We have never fraternized. No, we've kept our office relationship completely professional. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But if we wanted to. <laughs> but if we wanted to. <laughs> Violet. Yes. I want to. <laughs> oh, but you know what, Joe? The pressure is building, and I swear, one of these days, he's just, I'm just gonna snap. And when I do, boy, I am really, really gonna let him have it. He's, Where's my what? coffee? Here. You're welcome. God. Must be her time of the month. You know what? If I didn't need this job, I would You'd so take... what? Yeah, keep walking. God, Violet can't even make a good cup of coffee. I'll find a rag anywhere. Yes, Roz. Violet. Violet. I am very, very disappointed in you. The first thing I learned when I started working for Mr. Hart was the joy of making a cup of coffee just the way he liked it. Well, thank you, Juan Valdez. They found a rat up on the 16th floor again. Uh, not possible. Hart's in his office. <laughs> <laughs> so did you get the rat poison? Oh, tell him I'll be right there. Uh, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh, Dorley, last night was so fun. <laughs> no, I cannot remember the last time I laughed like that. <laughs> and how is Mr. Hart today? Still uh, alive? Unfortunately. He's in a great mood, though. His wife just left on a month-long cruise of the South Seas. <laughs> Lucky her. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, you guys. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh what my is wrong? God. Violet, what's the matter? I poisoned Mr. Hart. <laughs> Violet, what? how could you? Oh, Bloom. Okay. Uh, not on purpose. Not on purpose. Well, I thought the rat poison was the skinny and sweet. And I, I put it in his coffee. Oh, my God. I mean, look how similar these boxes look. Except for that little crossbones and skull thing in the corner there. They look the same. Oh, okay, okay God. Guys, calm down. We may have nothing to worry about. Wait, a, a couple of teaspoons may not even be enough to hurt him. Oh, well, no. heck, maybe he didn't even drink it. Right. No. No, I'm going to turn myself in. Oh, oh, oh wait, 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 wait. <laughs> okay. How about I go check on Mr. Hart, uh -huh. and then we'll figure out what to do from there. Yeah. All right. Dora Lee is right. Maybe we should just go back to our desks and wait and see what happens. Right. Okay. Violet? Yeah. Violet. Huh. Okay. Yeah. Maintain. Mm -hmm. Maintain. In and out. Okay. <laughs> and Violet, maintain. <gasps> Mr. Hart! Mr. Hart! We've got them at last! Violet poisoned you! <laughs> yeah, she put rat poisoning in your coffee by mistake! Oh my god, oh my god, how long do I have? No, 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 she just thinks she poisoned you! But my vision is blurry! Oh, oh. But you only had one sip! But my knees are weak! Man up! Ow! I've got Violet admitting it to Doralee and the new girl. I've got it right here. Here it is. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I've got a fantastic idea. Yes. I'll hide. Then you go tell those three girls that I was found unconscious and rushed to the hospital in critical condition. Oh, that's good. Let's put the fear of God in them, shall we? You with me? To hell and back. That's my girl. 
Perhaps I don't look like some red-hot mama, but believe me, that's just what I am. Inside, there's a fire mixed with passion and drama, feelings backed up like a dam. And if I ever turn loose, I'll tell you the truth. Dear heart, he won't be quite the same. And if I ever get my hands on you, I guarantee you'll be screaming my name. <gasps> heart to heart, eye to eye, lip to lip, hip to thigh, tit to toe, and I'll know what to do. And I'll put on some music, take off my clothes, let my head down and I'll put on a show. And I'll up in some wine and I'll close all the doors. Cupid's dart through my heart says I'm yours. I'll use my love as my magic wand on the women who clutter your world. And I'll zap them aside Cause I truly despise How they treat you I am your girl They just don't understand What a wonderful man I've come to know you to be And I've got a feeling That deep down inside He might just feel the same about me Heart to heart Here we are I can tell by the stars in my eyes I'm in paradise I'm in love I'm in heat I'm not being discreet no it's not ladylike but I won't miss a beat you're under my spell and surrender to me heart to heart you are my destiny heart to I will always be your girl. Always your girl. You know I'll always care. Always care. Heart to heart, you and I, just like I fantasize, like the lovers in books and on screens. You're my handsome prince, come to sweep me away and into the sunset to love me always. <laughs> and you're my Romeo, and I'm your Juliet. Come hither to my waiting breast. Here I am, lay me down, and let's go a few rounds. You and me. Happily, my prince. Heart to heart, ne'er to part the end. our only witness. We had him all ready to testify in everything. Oh, cop, 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 it might have nothing to do with Mr. Hart. <laughs> Poor guy never even saw it coming. What kind of lowlife tries to kill someone with poison? <gasps> oh my god, they know already! We don't know that. This is not the time to panic. How is he, Doc? He's dead. <gasps> now is the time to panic. I'm gonna need you boys to sign some forms so we can perform an autopsy. <gasps> Walk the green mile. Oh, oh my God! Just, no, no, it's just. Wait. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.
Oh, oh, my God. Damn. oh it's it's over. No, no, I might as well. I might as well save him the trouble and show him the rat poison now, but dead man. What? Stop it. it. Come on. See it. Come on. Oh, who cares? I'm finished. I'm a murderer. I know you're not. Oh, I'm a murderess. Oh, God. Oh, please take care of Josh. You know, he's allergic to peanuts. And he wants something called Atari for his birthday. Oh, I don't know. Let's keep her moving. Okay. She thinks too damn much when she's sitting. Come on. Oh, it's going to be fine. Oh, my God. I'm going to get the gas chamber like Susan Hayward, and I want to live. Wow, it's calm down. Hey, fun fact. She won the Oscar for that role. What? Judy. Not helping. Well, I'm sorry. I share trivia when I get nervous. I am gonna be locked up. Oh, I'm gonna lose my job. Shh. Now don't jump to conclusions. Oh, you know I've had it. No, I'm gonna. I killed the boss. I mean, you don't think I'm gonna be fired for a thing like that? <laughs> all right, you're getting hysterical. <laughs> We're gonna find a python and call you a lawyer. All right, just. We will be right back, okay? Don't move. Judy, come on. Oh, my God. I did that. Me, guilty. Oh, God, me that. Okay. Maintain. Um, I can't go down like this. No, I gotta do something. I gotta do, I gotta do something. Something. Oh, something, something. Oh, wait. Oh, excuse me. Could you tell me where the coffee shop is? Oh, hi, the coffee shop. Uh, I'm new here. Oh, I'm new here too. Where oh. do you work? Uh, uh, downstairs. Oh, the morgue. Yeah. Is he? Yes, he is. How did he? Oh, way too much coffee. Yeah, I'm taking him out for some air. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I'm getting some fresh air. He's coming along for the ride. Oh, <laughs> you're a doctor. I didn't see your badge. I'm sorry. What, I'm a doctor? There's a... Oh, I'm a doctor. <laughs> yeah, doctor. So, so why the hell am I talking to you? Piss off. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> hey, you guys. <gasps> oh, good <laughs> news. I'm not hysterical anymore. <laughs> no, I am so clear-headed. No, so we're going to take Hart's body, we're going to take him down to the river, and let's go to the car. <laughs> you hold on a second. How about... Good evening. <laughs> now, let's walk out of here real calm, like. What? We Come on. We'll go pick up Josh and make a run for the border. Violet, don't you worry. Dorley and I are going to take care of you. It's oh. your turn to lean on us. <laughs> it, uh, forget. <laughs> Why are you crying? Because you two are in charge. That, ew. <laughs> that really scares me. That's the, oh my God, they're back. Oh, my, uh, wait, wait, uh, step uh, away uh, from the body. Oh, come on, no, okay, we're going. No, go, we're going. No. It's time to, this isn't me. This is, this is not how I do this. No, <gasps> officer. Oh, oh, Violet, don't. Officer, I have a confession. Underneath this sheet is a man I <laughs> have never seen before in my entire life. <laughs> it's not hard. No. You didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> you didn't do what? What's going on here? Hey. I don't like your tone. What's your badge number? What? Is this your body? Yeah. Yeah, well, you left it here unattended. Shame on you. Sorry. No, you know what? I quit. <gasps> oh, well, I hope you're happy. Healing was her life. Mm -hmm. Are you positive no one's here? Who works after five? Oh. All right. All right. Now, we just have to make sure there's no traces of poison, okay? So I'm gonna go to the coffee area and I'm gonna wipe up in case I spill. Ooh, I'll come with you. Yeah, okay. okay. I'll find the cup, all right? Okay. okay. Uh, let's see here. Let's see. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise. Mr. Hart! <laughs> I heard 
you went to the hospital. I'm, I'm so glad you're all right. Well, strychnine can be very hard on the system. Uh, strychnine? They had to pump it out of my stomach after you three ladies tried to poison me. I knew you'd come back here and try to clean up the oh, evidence. Mr. Harbell, I didn't mean to. It was an accident. I was so you <gasps> do it, Mr. You three tried to murder me. Oh, Mr. Hart, please. I, you don't understand. We don't were just get upset. To... You can make it up to me. Why don't you come to my place tonight? How late did you want me to work? <laughs> Who said anything about work? <gasps> you are disgusting. <sighs> Guess I'm going to have to call the cops. Oh, Mr. Hart, please don't think of what you're doing. You'll ruin our lives. It's... You put that phone down right now. I'm not going to let you do hey, this. You... you know, I didn't oh. start this, and there's another phone right over here. <sighs> Mr. Hart, you touch that phone, and I'm going to come jerk it clean out the wall. Watch you you, you. Ooh, you're getting all Whoa. excited. Oh, you're disgusting piece. Ooh, I didn't know we were going to do this. I'll bet you didn't. If you could get your mind out of the gutter for oh, two seconds. Oh, don't hurt me, baby. Don't hurt that. me, mama. Oh, you big. Violet! Judy! Now, listen here, you bitch. <gasps> now, listen here. I don't take kindly to that kind of language. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Hart! <laughs> He knows everything. He was going to call the police. Where's Ju Where's Violet? She's still cleaning her up. All right. Uh, you stay here and watch him, and I'll be right back. No, no, leave me in here. Um, <laughs> Mr. Hart, I'm really sorry about all of this. <laughs> what? I can't understand you. You have a gag in your mouth. Oh, thank God one of you has come to your senses. Now untie me so that we can work things out. No. No. I, 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 I couldn't possibly do that. No, come on. This cord is cutting off my circulation. I, I promise if you let me loose, I will sit down and talk things out with you three. Mm -mm. Oh, come on. There's a little pain involved here. Okay. Mr. Hart, I want to offer you my sincerest apologies. Dorley didn't mean it. This is all just one big misunderstanding. Oh, sure. oh! You gave me your word. I lied. Operate. Oh, damn it. Well, there's nothing to stop me from running to the police. Yes, there is. You hold still or I will shoot. Oh my God, you're as crazy as the other two. Oh, what the? <laughs> Bygones be bygones. Don't listen to him. He lies. <laughs> he lies. Oh, it's all right now. Come on. You sit down here while we think. Yeah. Come on. Now, well, I know one thing. We could just can't keep him here in the office. Oh, I could take him home. Oh, well, I don't think Dwayne would go for that. <laughs> um, <gasps> Mrs. Hart's on vacation. We could just take him to his house. Good idea. Yes. yes. Ooh, it yes. doesn't matter how long it takes. I am turning you three in the second I get free. So you've got two choices. Let me go or kill me. Hmm. Hmm. Now listen here, girls. Uh, ladies, you're ladies. I don't deserve to be treated like this. <laughs> they say you always oh, get what shit. you deserve. Oh, whether good, bad, or indifferent. Well, that's what I always heard. Mm -hmm. No good deed goes unpunished, but the bad deeds you have done, stretched out, I'm sure that they would reach from here to kingdom come. You think it's time you get what you deserve. Yeah. You've got no true compassion, but you've really got some nerve. And you've, you've hurt, hurt every one of us in different kinds of ways. 
What goes around comes around. And each dog has its day. Let me go. That's an order. Uh, we are not taking orders from you anymore. The tables Where? are turning. Oh. Don't you get it? <laughs> <sighs> Under this hair is a brain. Not that you'd ever care. Then why don't you use that brain and let me go? You only see tits, but get this, there's a heart under there. A heart that you've broken and ripped out more times than a few. Well, all Double D Darlie's gonna stick it to you. I'm gonna shine like the sun when these clouds roll away from my door. When it's all said and done, see no more. I will prove my own worth, heal the damage and hurt that's been done. When the crime's all done, well, I'm gonna shine like the sun. I've had enough hurt in my life, and you've been adding to it. But I'm in control now, and just like before, I'll get through it. You've hurt and embarrassed me, proving you don't give a damn. Well, I'm tired of men like you, who make me feel less than I am. I'm gonna shine like the sun when these clouds roll away from my door. and sorrow but I'm not giving up because I know there is always tomorrow there are no guarantees life is always a hit or a miss but I truly believe I won't always be feeling like this I'm gonna shine like the sun when these clouds roll away from my door I won't crawl, I can run. I won't be at your mercy no more. Roz, I'm sure he's just hung up somewhere. <laughs> Ugh. We have got to do something about oh. her. Hasn't anybody ever tried to shoot her? <laughs> <laughs> we have shown amazing restraint. <laughs> but we have got to do something about Hart. Forget about Roz. Well, I say we hire a couple of wranglers and beat the shit out of him. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> no, no, no. We gotta do something to like blackmail him with and then make a deal. All right. You know, uh, he doesn't turn us in, we don't turn him in. Okay, okay. <gasps> um, what about a sex scandal? <laughs> we could get a picture of Hart in bed with a prostitute. Mm -mm. 
This is Hart we're talking about. He'd just buy up all the pictures and send them out as Christmas cards. <laughs> no, right. no, no. It's got to be something, something in here. Help me start looking, you guys. Right. I mean, we can't keep him tied up in his house forever. I don't know. I never realized how unpopular Mr. Hart is. <laughs> yeah. Other than Roz, nobody wants to see him face to face. God, that's just it, though. We've got to do something about her. <sighs> Let's just send her on vacation. Mm. She's only allotted two weeks, and, and it might not be enough time. <gasps> Elaine is a nursing patient. Huh? There's one in Denver, Colorado, that you have to live at for a month. Dick once learned French when his company was thinking about opening overseas. That could work. What? Yeah, not bad. I mean, Hart could write a memo about a major expansion, and uh, he needs executives who speak French. Yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. Perfect. But do you think she'd go? <laughs> Are you kidding? She'd off Mother Teresa if Hart asked her to. I'll just write up a memo and sign it from Hart. <laughs> Bingo. Oh, boy. Two sets of books. Looks like Hart's been stealing from oh the company. Oh, my gosh. No. No, there is no way a head of a company would fake the books to steal from its stockholders. <laughs> no, the only way we can prove this is if we trace the money back to Hart. Well, we're gonna have to check his bank accounts then. Mm -hmm. Here's where Fike and his signature is gonna come in handy. <laughs> Perfect. Hey, Violet, yeah. doesn't Joe work in accounting? Maybe he oh. could help us. Oh, no, 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 no. We better, you know, he might be in on this. Mm -hmm. um, I think we should do this ourselves. Wouldn't it be funny if we started posting changes from Hart? Well, why can't we? What do you mean? Well, why can't we run the office the way we want to? Well, like being able to put pictures and things on our desks? Yeah. <laughs> or like taking an hour for lunch? <gasps> oh, that would Think be so bigger! Nice. <gasps> an hour and a half? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> bigger! <sighs> How about Mr. Hart never comes back and you become CEO? Whoa, 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 whoa. too big. No, it's the old boys club. I could no. never be CEO. Yes, you could. Oh, no. Violet, you really could. <laughs> well, that would be wonderful, wouldn't it? <laughs> oh, but it'll never happen, you guys. It just won't. Look how far we've come already. Come on, Violet, dream big. Anything is possible. Female CEO. <laughs> now that would be something, wouldn't it? I mean, oh, I want it so bad. Woohoo! I can taste it. <laughs> hey, would you look at me? It's hard to believe I'm a star after all of this time. Others may glow from the stardust I throw on their path, never thinking I'd shine. Like some Hollywood queen, I've arrived on the scene, a sensation, a toast of the town. Oh, she's fabulous. I'm wallowing in it, I love every minute, so up I may never come down. And amorous, amorous female oh, CEO oh, in, the in the world. Wow! My ship Ooh. finally came in, and now oh, it's smooth sailing. Oh, I'm everyone's new pinup girl. Oh, <laughs> Respect. And high class, I don't have to kiss ass for the first time since I've been employed. It's my time to shine, and I'm feeling fine. This old gal's now one of the boys.
CEO in the world. It's landed in my lap. I don't have to take crap for the first time since I was a girl. Violet's one of the boys. <laughs> Is my greatest joy. Get him, girl. I'll take this job and love it. I'm a woman and proud of it. This old gal is one of the boys. Memo to Rosalind Keith. That's me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Company expansion, blah, blah, blah. You are hereby assigned to attend the Lester Language Immersion Center in Denver, Colorado. Ooh, exotic. <laughs> uh, and so on and so on. Well, uh, e effective immediately. Oh, sincerely, Franklin Hart. Well, I can't be away from him. I mean, here for an entire month. I need to speak with Mr. Hart immediately. Oh, Ross, he just gave this to me on his way out. Maybe you could still catch it. Uh, Judy, do you still see Mr. Hart? Oh, yes, oh. I see him, Mr. Oh, Hart. Mr. Wait Hart. a minute. Oh, Mr. Hart. You uh, just missed him. Oh, mm. it was effective immediately. Why would he do this without discussing it with me? Well, Ross, it's business and nothing but. As, as Mr. Mr. Hart, Hart always, always says. says. As Mr. Hart always says. Well, I think you'll find everything you need in here. <laughs> Bony voyage! <laughs> what? What? And you better get going, Roz. It's already 5 p.m. Oh. Five to nine. I hate those lonely hours, all that time away from him and all that power. I just love control. I'll miss him with a passion and all I can do for him without him asking in Francais. I'll be thinking of you in Francais. I will always love you. <laughs> bon voyage. I'm off to learn this language. Mon amour. Je t'adore. <laughs> Daycare, are they serious the company's gonna watch my kids? <laughs> well, if Consolidated helps you with your kids, productivity increases. <laughs> they haven't met my kids. <laughs> I'm sure they're not. Job yet. Shit.
sharing. What's job sharing? Can I give away my whole job? Come on, you guys. Where's your team spirit? Since when do we have team spirit? Uh, you know what we need around here, an attitude adjustment. Excuse me. <laughs> exactly. What Violet means is, <clears throat> something got you down, got you change bound. Well, well, break it. I hate change. Oh. If you built a wall and you know it needs to fall, then shake it. <laughs> I want what she's breaking. Something that you know is damming up the flow. Tear the damn, damn, down. Let me explain it. If you don't take the reins, nothing's gonna change. Nothing's gonna change if you don't change it. This is gonna be. Oh, yes, I'm so glad. <laughs> wow, I can't believe it. Hart okayed the company to pay for rehab. What do you mean you don't believe it? It's right there in black and white. Jeez, what's gotten into you? A backbone. Let's call it your home for the next 30 days. What do you mean? Well, how about we get together after work and I'll tell you all about it. Yeah, let's go out for drinks. <laughs> Had a girl. We're gonna Something <laughs> on your mind is nagging all the time. Well, fix it. <laughs> Hurry up, welcome oh, back. Something in your life isn't feeling right. Then nix it. What's going on here? We're getting an attitude adjustment. <laughs> if you lost your place, something in your space. Feeling in your gut that's got you in a rut. You're made of better stuff and you can change it. Change it. Don't want your little light to never shine. Change it. Turn up on right and get your goals in line. There's a great new world out there for those who dare to claim it. A better day is on the way. Only you can change it. You can change you. not a sexist, egotistical, lying, hypocritical, bigot rehab we can send heart to. <laughs> we are so good at this. <sighs> Do you know what? We should try to take over all the regional offices. <laughs> too deep, too big. <sighs> well, you know, we only have a few days before Roz gets back. Oh, no, don't worry, we'll be ready for her. <sighs> I hope so. Anyway, I gotta get back to daycare. Again? I can't help it, those babies <laughs> are so cute. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey, do you oh, know where my don't... mom is? Yeah, is everything all right? Oh, I'm picking her up. Just got my driver's license. Yeah, congratulations. Oh, thanks. I think she's in the conference room installing something called a answering machine. <laughs> cool. Lunch today, Dorley. Oh, Kathy, I wish I could, but I'm going to lunch with my man today. Oh. How about tomorrow? It's a date. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, darling. Oh. Sure was cool of heart to give you ladies an hour for lunch. Oh, honey, he is a new man. <laughs> I don't know if I could spend one more night in that house with that man. Oh, I'm sorry. I have been helping you and Judy out more with the nights, but Dwayne would get way too suspicious. Yeah, and you know, I just hate leaving Josh alone all the time, you know? I'm so sorry. Oh, but I can't wait to nail Hart. <laughs> oh, boy, you know what? Then things are going to change around here 24-7. 24-7? <laughs> yep. 
What do you mean? I don't know. <laughs> Let's just sneeze it up. <laughs> oh, here comes Joe. Wow. I never thought I'd enjoy coming to work in the morning. If I didn't know any better, I'd say somebody else was running the office. So, what are you trying to say, <clears throat> Joe? Let me try that again. Good morning, Violets. Dora Lee. Ah. Beautiful morning, isn't it? Uh, so what you're trying to say is that someone other than Hart is running the office? Violet, what's the matter? Why would anything be the matter? I'm fantastic. <laughs> if you say so. That's what I said. I said it, right? That's what I said. Right? Mm -hmm. Dora Lee, mm -hmm. could you give us a moment? Of course. Excuse me. I got an office to run. Oh, you know what? I got work, too. I do. I have hey, work. Hey, what's work. going on? Would you stop? Violet, I know you. Something's the matter. Uh, I'm telling you, I'm fine. Quit pushing me away. You can tell me anything. Uh, oh, we've got Hart tied up in his house while we try to figure out why he's been stealing from the company, and we're following the money trail to try and collect enough evidence to prove he's been cooking the books. Not what I was expecting. <laughs> me either. <laughs> you really kidnapped Hart? No. We just, well... Yes, we kidnapped Hart, but I'm telling you, if we don't collect enough evidence before Mrs. Hart gets back in the next week, we are screwed. I have access to every single financial account in this company. I might be able to help you. Really? <laughs> See what happens when you actually talk to me? <laughs> Joe, you're the best. <laughs> I, I'm the best. Joe, move fast. Violet, have dinner with me. Oh. Joe, don't think about it. Just say yes. Uh, no, you know what? You're a great guy. No, 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 no. Not <laughs> yeah. the great guy speech. Yeah. <laughs> Give me one good reason why you won't go on a date with me. And uh, not I... some bull about age. Oh. It's not like I'm not in my 30s. Oh, my God. You're still in your 30s? <laughs> what is it? <sighs> really? Oh, Joe. You know... <laughs> I'm a one-man woman, and I've had my one man. He's been gone three years now? Yeah. You know, sometimes it feels like just a moment, and, and other times it, it really feels like a lifetime. I know. But isn't it time that you started living for something more than just coming here every day? I don't know, Joe. I'm, I'm sorry. I, I just can't. Why not? I'm scared. You've got Hart tied up in his house, and you're scared <laughs> of a date with me. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> oh, come on, Joe. Uh, we're going to be late. Late? All right, Mr. Hart, nighty-night. Don't let the bed bugs bite. You're never going to get away with this. Sooner or later, someone's going to realize I'm not there. No, I, I don't think so. You see, you can't treat people the way you do and expect them to miss you when you're not there. It hurts me to have to say that to oh, you, Oh, blah, Mr. blah, Hart. blah. Please stop talking. All right, nighty-night. Wait, no, wait. <laughs> Dick! What are you doing here? How did you know where to find me? I've been following you for a while. This place is dead. Oh, no, 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 no. You have got to go. We're here alone, aren't you? I'm, uh, house-sitting for a friend. Oh, okay. Well, how about a cup of coffee for your husband? Uh, Ex-husband. Technicality. <sighs> Maybe to you. Anyway, I thought you were in Mexico with what's-her-name. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, well... Things kind of, sort of, didn't work out. She dumped you, didn't she? Okay, okay, okay. There was this cliff diver. It, it's a long story, and it's not important. Ow! Ow! What was that? Um, nothing. I'll go check. It was probably the cat. Stay here, Dick. Big cat. Oh, my God! What are you doing? Get away you from are me. never going to get out of there. It's not going to happen. Stay in there. Don't. Who is he? Oh, oh my boss! Stay out of your dick! Why haven't you 
done any of that with me. What? Bondage, S and M, sex games. You're into that now? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm into all of it. So typical, having an affair with your boss. You had one with your secretary. But I want you back now. Th this isn't you. You don't know me, Dick. I've changed. No, no, not this much. You can't be serious. Don't tell me what I can do, Dick. If I want to smoke pot or have an affair or, or do m and <laughs> you can't stop me. Well, it's funny how you waltzed in here, assuming I'd come back. Well, let me tell you something. You are way off track. Can't you see I'm different? Or are you still that blind? No, you stand right there and take it. There's no love to hide behind. Well, I am proud to tell you that I'm really feeling good. I'm doing so much better than you ever thought I would. Got my own place, my own space to think and dream and plan. Took me this long to realize I do not need a man. Certainly not you. I used to need you, but then I finally learned I used to want you, and now the table's turned I used to love you, now it's your time to squirm Cause I'm saying goodbye, and I won't wait for your return So get out and stay out, I finally had enough don't kiss me on your way out It wouldn't move me much You used me, abused me You cheated and you lied So get out and stay out I'm taking back my life I wonder what you'll do when I am not around Now that your new love has up and let you down You've always come crying to me throughout the years To mend another broken heart to dry your selfish tears So get out and stay out I'm moving on at last Oh, I've been so foolish but that was in the past I never thought I'd be the one to say goodbye You get out and stay out I'm taking back my life Dreams and plans are in the Success is out there for the taking I wish it was as simple as it sounds I have no choice, I have to do it Face the future, walk into it Now that I'm unfettered and unbound Get out and stay I finally had enough to kiss me on the way out It wouldn't move me much You used me, abused me You cheated and you lied So get out and stay out I'm taking back my life my We're good, right? We've got everything we need to prove that Hart's been embezzling from the company. Deposit slips, wire transfers, swollen bank accounts. 
I think we've got everything we need. Congratulations, ladies. You've done a phenomenal job. Oh, well, we couldn't have done it without you, Joe. <laughs> yeah, you could have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we could. could. <laughs> Judy? Judy? Surprise! Oh, how to get my gun? <laughs> Did you know that J.R. Ewing's mother is Mary Martin? You really didn't think you three pathetic pencil pushers could get the drop on me, did you? Put the gun down, Mr. Hart. You are in serious trouble. I thought I heard the voice of the junior accountant, but that's impossible because he's fired! Hart, it's over. No, we have enough, we have enough evidence that you've been stealing thousands and thousands of dollars from Consolidated. Are you really trying to compare a little creative accounting to what you three have done to me? Uh, Mr. Hart, can we please talk about this? Oh, sure. We could go downtown and have a little chat with the police. Then I'll hire the best lawyer in town, get off scot-free, while you three idiots go to jail for kidnapping, assault, and attempted murder. Oh, oh didn't think about this, did you? No. I do. Mr. Hart, how good to see you. Who are you? You don't recognize me? I'm Margaret Pomerantz. <gasps> the old lush? <laughs> I was, but thanks to Consolidated's new alcohol treatment program, I am a new woman. <laughs> Oh, and I wanted to thank you for all those notes of encouragement you sent me while I was in rehab. I can't tell you what it meant to me to have someone say, at a girl. Oh. She looks so she good, I can't even believe it. Rehab, what is she talking about? I never approved that. Well, sure you did, your signature's on every memo. Every memo? <laughs> no. Oh, I almost forgot, uh, Mr. Tinsworthy's on his way up. Tinsworthy what? here? Tins no! What? Shit. Who's Mr. Tinsworthy? He's the chairman of the board! Shit! 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 That's your heart! She swear see! Shit! Mr. Tinsworthy, sir! To what do we owe this honor? Hello, Hart. Let me fix it. Let me fix your back. Uh, what's with the pajamas? Well, uh, I... Um... Oh, it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's um, the end of the week, sir, and we feel like we're more productive when we're more relaxed. And so uh, Mr. Hart here instituted something called Casual Friday. Casual <laughs> Friday. I like it. It's Thursday. <laughs> That's Hart for you. <laughs> Always ahead of the curve. <laughs> I'll say. Hart, I'm dumbfounded by all the changes been going around here the past few weeks. And I'm so glad you're here, sir, so we can clean this mess up. Yeah. There is something you need to know. Damn right! I need to know who is responsible... These women! ...for the 20% rise in productivity. Wait, what? These women? Yes! <laughs> no! Violet was the ringleader when they... Violet? Violet Newstead? Yes. The Violet Newstead? <laughs> yeah. I've heard an awful lot about you over the years. <laughs> well, thank you, Mr. Tinsworthy. Tell me what's been going on around here. <laughs> Sir, I think we're talking I about Hush. Hush. I'm speaking to a lady. <laughs> Well, Mr. Tinsworthy, uh, my two colleagues and I, Dora Lee Rhodes and Judy Burnley and I, well, we just thought it, that it was time that we should make some changes around here in the office. <laughs> yes, sir. We thought with a few new ideas, flexible hours, job sharing, mm -hmm. daycare, mm -hmm. we could improve the quality of life here at Consolidated. And yes. increase productivity at the same time. <laughs> yes, and Hart signed off on all the changes. Yes, Dora Lee has copies of every memo. Mm -hmm. How many memos are we talking about here? About a hundred. Oh. <laughs> Hart, I'm proud of you for nurturing such creativity and from a secretary stand up? Oh, serious. <laughs> I want you by my side. 
I think it's time you come to work for me. Oh, sir, it would be an honor. Oh, Mr. Tinsworthy, yes. I think you should take a look at this file. Before we get to that, there is something you need to know. I uh, know, Mr. In spite of no, how I hard think... I have worked to make this company feel like a family. A family? The sacrifices I have made so that my three girls can reach their oh, greatest your, your potential. Girls! Um, um, while these three girls have been painting the desks and hanging curtains in the Xerox room, oh. sir. They also held me hostage! hostage. Oh. Excuse me, what? It's no use, you guys. We might as well come clean. I mean, he's gonna get us anyway. But before we get arrested and go to prison for the next 30 years making Ten pals in Nebraska. Ugh. I have a few things to say. You know, this place was hell. Hell. Before we tried to fix it. You know, we, we have all worked very hard to try and keep things running around here the best we can, Mr. Tinsworthy. Not him. No. He plays golf. And he drinks scotch. And he gets all the credit, and why? Because he's the guy. No, you wait a minute. No, you wait a minute. I have waited my entire life. You see, we're not the guy. We're just the little guy. The little guy doesn't play golf. No, he plays catch up. The little guy, he he's late to work because of the kids and late to, to school because of the kids and late to work all the time and he coaches and and balances a budget and and works her ass off and, and if that doesn't qualify her to be seen heard and respected well then what the hell does and so yeah yeah, we kidnapped Hart, and we put him in the back of my Buick. Tied him up like a pig at the state fair. That's and right. strung him up with a garage door opener. Yeah, and we tried very hard to keep things running around here the best we could, Mr. Tinsworthy, and now he's going to get all the credit. And we, oh, we're going to get ten to life. Thank you. Thank you. You said every life. <laughs> Hostage? Garage door openers? Ha oh, little lady, you're one hell of a joker. No, sir, they really did it! <laughs> Art, I am delighted with the changes that's been going on around here. I'm going to promote you all the way to the top. What? Thank you, sir. In fact, uh... Our Bolivia operation is just starting to take off, and I can use a man like you. <laughs> Bolivia? <laughs> well, congratulations, Mr. Hart. It couldn't happen to a more deserving person. Oh, what about Violet? She knows just as much about the office as I do. Another ingenious idea. Oh, only a visionary like you would come up with a female CEO. Well, no, oh, what? Oh, no, I, I, I didn't. Of, 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 of course, if... You want the job. Oh, right? yes, I do. I want it. <laughs> yes. I'll volunteer to accompany Mr. Hart to Bolivia. I speak through in French. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're, you're, you're going to have to stay here, and you will report directly to Violet. <laughs> not that I'm not flattered, sir, but if we could just talk about this. Hart, you better start packing. I hear there may be a coup down there, and you know how they can impede travel. <laughs> sir, if we could just discuss this. I will not take no for an answer. Bob? Bob! Funny, right? <laughs> Bye -bye. Ladies, congratulations to all three of you. And Hart will not be in your hair for a very, very long time. <laughs> Carry you. on! Thank you! Thank you so much, Rosie. Thank you so much. No, let's let Roz take care of it. Uh, Roz, please take care of the oh, Xerox no, 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 wait. machine. No, 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 no. I expect to see a little more esprit de corps. Chop, chop. <laughs>
well into the 90s, though she never recovered from the loss of her beloved Mr. Hart. Things changed when she remet an old acquaintance on a social networking site and realized she had found her soulmate. <laughs> Franklin Hart was abducted by a tribe of angry Amazonian warriors and never heard from again. Nine, two, five, you can lose your mind, get up! Judy Burnley lived happily for the rest of her life as a strong, independent, single woman. She became a frequent guest on The View after writing her best-selling memoir, Life Without Dick. Nine, two, five, get up, get up. Darley eventually left Consolidate and then pursued her dreams of becoming a country western singer. Dwayne almost had her convinced to run for president, but she realized she was too late. Bigger boobs had already beat her there. <laughs> Get up and work, get up and work, nine to five, nine to five. A Violet and Joe have been together almost 30 years. <laughs> Violet ran consolidated until she came up with a little invention called the clapper. 